How's it going, everyone? We've got a brand new PlayStation Store sale that is live right now. Unfortunately, exclusive to those that are subscribed to PlayStation Plus. And I know some of you guys have been, I don't know, like, th there's a lot of people out there that have been unsubscribing to PS Plus after, you know, Plus Extra, Plus Premium are kind of trash. And uh, Plus Essential, I mean, a lot of people are just moving away from playing online games but for those of you still subscribed there are some definitely some good deals as a part of this exclusive discount sale right off the top i know a lot of you guys have been waiting on skull and bones to get cheaper it is 60 percent off for 84.99 all right obviously i'm joking but uh kind of wild to see skull and bones that cheap i mean is it that crazy ubisoft games tend to go on sale pretty quickly but it is 60 percent off for 33.99 for 33.99 you'll get the base game you'll get two extra missions and the digital art book and the digital soundtrack as well so uh yeah take that for what you will rainbow six siege operator edition is 65 percent off overcooked all you can eat is 65 percent off castle crasher remastered is 80 percent off for 2.99 which is a really good deal I definitely would recommend Castle Crashers at that price. One of those games that's very, uh, very fun to go back to and I feel like has just stood the test of time for a very long time now. So, yeah, $3 for that is quite good. Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition for... $3.99 is obviously a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. We've seen that deal available a couple of times at this point, but whenever it's available, I mean, $3.99 for a pretty solid open-world RPG with a lot of bonus content in the Royal Edition, especially considering that Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be dropping early next year. Now would be a great time to check out Kingdom Come Deliverance, which I thought was a really solid open-world game, and you're really gonna enjoy it if you do uh, vibe with the setting and the historical aspect of the game. I feel like that is the biggest drawing card of the game. Narratively, it's pretty good, um, hopefully KCD2 on the PS5 runs fairly well because I would say that is one of the shortcomings of the PS4 version But what can you do for $3.99? I mean, that's a phenomenal phenomenal deal You've got an Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Immortals Phoenix Rising bundle on sale and Then you've also got an Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion bundle on sale So if you want to get those bundles, there's also a Watch Dogs 1 and Watch Dogs 2 Gold Edition bundle That's actually pretty good 85% off which I believe would knock it down to $11.99 if my math is correct Pretty good deal there. I think Watch Dogs 1 is a game that if you're going back to and playing, you're not going into it with the immense amount of anticipation and hype that people had back in 2014 when it initially came out. And the game itself has a really, really cool premise. I mean, Watch Dogs in general just had a really interesting premise. And uh, narratively, I liked Watch Dogs 1 more than Watch Dogs 2. But uh, yeah, 85% off on that. Pretty good there. Far Cry 4 discounted as well. The Gold Edition is 67% off. And they have the Anthology Bundle on sale. Dredge. Deluxe Edition is discounted. City Skylines Mayor's Edition is $19.99. The Premium Edition is also on sale. Premium Edition 2, 80% off for that. Batman the Telltale Series Series uh, Season Pass, $7.49 on that. Metal Slug Anthology, 80% off for $3.99. That's actually a pretty solid deal for all of those Metal Slug titles that you're getting there. You've got Nickelodeon Kart Racer, Hello Neighbor 2, Metal Slug XX, which is $3.99 for that as well. Street Outlaws 2, Winner Takes All for $4.99. Mud Runner American Wilds Edition is $7 on that. Kingdoms of Avalu Re-Reckoning is 75% uh, off, and that is for the Fate Edition, by the way, which does include the Fate Sworn Expansion. 75% off knocks it down to $13.74, which I would actually say is pretty good. I enjoyed Kingdoms of Avalu a lot. It was a plus essential title not too long ago, so... A lot of you guys have the base game available that way, but uh, yeah, definitely check that out if you don't. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, Season Pass Edition, 85% off, so $5.99 for that is pretty good. The Lovecraftian Bundle, which includes The Sinking City and Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, that's $7.99, which is pretty good, $4 a pop. Sinking City standalone is $5 if you do want that. Uh, Metal Slug 3, 80% off for $3. Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, 50% off for $19.99. It would be nice to see that game a little bit cheaper, but... Trails of Cold Steel is awesome, and if you want to get into Legend of Heroes, at this point, I would say, you know, you've waited this long, it might be worthwhile to wait until that uh, Trails of the Sky remake that is scheduled to be released in 2025. And fingers crossed that it ends up hitting all platforms, which hasn't been confirmed yet, but I imagine it will be. But Cold Steel is really good. Cold Steel 2 is on sale as well, 50% off for $19.99 if you're a Plus subscriber. Uh, Cold Steel 2 certainly had its issues. It probably would have been better off being, in, uh, being an expansion to Cold Steel, but there's a lot of great narrative twists in Cold Steel 2 as well. I just think it would have been better if, uh, you know, a lot of the padded out content was eliminated, but what can you do? Legend of Heroes sometimes falls victim to that, where some of the content does feel like it's there for the sake of padding out the title, but uh, yeah, for the most part, the games are great, and uh, you should definitely go play them. 
Metro 2033 Redux, 85% off for $2.99. Great deal there. Necromunda Hired Gun, 80% off for $7.99. I actually had a good time with Necromunda Hired Gun. It's very much a lower budget FPS. If you want over-the-top FPS action for $7.99, that's not too bad of a deal. I would like to see it like for $3.99. I think that would be a great pickup at that price point. You got the Sherlock Holmes Essential Bundle, 90% off for $9.99. For all that content, that's actually quite good. You'll get Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment, and Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter. All that for $9.99, I would say, is pretty good. $3 and change a pop for those titles, I think, is pretty good. Walking Dead, the complete first season, is $3. Obviously, great deal there. Walking Dead, in my opinion, the Telltale franchise peaked at Season 1. Season 2 was really good as well, and that is uh, $2.99 as well. So that's not a bad pickup either, but a pretty good deal all around for both of those. And if you just want to pick up Season 1, I mean, that's not a bad shout. Uh, Skull Island Rise of Kong, one of the best received games in recent memory. Obviously, I'm joking, but it's 65% off. Frostpunk Complete Edition, 80% off for $9. Frostpunk 2 just dropped on PC, and it's being received very, very well. Uh, great to see that, but uh, if you want to check out Frostpunk 1, uh, Complete Collection, $9. That's pretty good when you get all that DLC content. Frostpunk 2 probably won't come out on consoles for a little bit, so checking out Frostpunk 1, definitely not a bad idea. Blasphemous and Blasphemous 2 bundle is on sale. No More Heroes 3 is on sale. Fade and Stella Link, 70% off for $15. The Fade titles generally do hold up in price for quite a while, so that's probably one of the better price points that you are going to get. Uh, Lords of the Fallen 2014, 80% off for $3.99. Uh, not a bad deal there. Trinity Trigger, 55% off if you want a lower scale JRPG. This War of Mine Complete Edition, 70% off. Travis Strikes again, No More Heroes Complete Edition is on sale. Risen 3 Enhanced Edition, 80% off. Moonlighter is on sale. Super Neptunia RPG. Uh, is discounted. We got anything else relatively notable? Nah, that's really just about it. Again, a very, very small sale, and it's plus only, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, there is certainly some good stuff to check out, though. Kingdom Come Deliverance, that's always gonna be a good pick up at $3.99. Uh, Legend of Heroes Trails and Cold Steel, if you wanna check those out, those are definitely good deals. The Watch Dogs Bundle, I think, is pretty good. There's some DLC on sale as well, and I do wanna give a shout for the three of you that don't own Elden Ring. The game is on sale, 30% off for $41.99 as a part of their weekly deal. That deal ends tonight, so haven't mentioned it. I imagine most of you guys at this point own Elden Ring, and this is a game that's just gonna hold up in price in perpetuity. Uh, I mean, it came out two and a half years ago, and 30% off is the best deal that you're gonna get. It's like Elden Ring and Gran Turismo 7 have both hit $40, and they just won't get any cheaper. I guess Forbidden West is in that category as well. But yeah, at the very least, with Forbidden West, you can get the complete edition at around $40. With Elden Ring, there ain't no way you're getting the Shadow of the Air Tree edition. But, you know, it's an iconic game, and uh, it's gonna hold up in price for a very, very long time. Maybe next year we'll get that fabled 50% off for $29.99, but for now is $42. But that's gonna do it for me again, the PS Plus exclusive discount sale live right now, along with that Elden Ring. That deal is gonna be ending tonight if you do wanna check it out. That's gonna do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.